Good morning, guys. I woke up so late today because how late I was sleep last night, and right now it's already almost 7:30. Um, I'm going to get some coffee and uh, going to start my writing for the day. Um, in the morning, I try not to think about anything too much, and most of the time, my head is the most clear. So I like to just um, start my writing right away. In that way, I kind of have the most clarity before my anxiety sets in. <laughs> um, anxiety of uh, worry about things not gonna work out for me, why it's taking me so long to pursue my dream, things like that. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to make the coffee. I have a pile of stuff right there. Um, it's from my friends. She has been moved back to China and those are her books and I have all her clothing stuff in my bedroom as well. So this week I also need to pack them uh, so I can ship it all, everything for her. Yeah, so my house right now is cluttered with boxes at this moment. So poopy, let me go here. So um, recently, each morning uh, while I'm writing, I also listen to music from YouTube. So normally I like to use music that matches the scene that I'm writing, kind of help me get into the mood. Um, I haven't built soundtrack list for this particular screenplay yet. Um, but right now, since I'm working on overall the scene list of the film, I don't want to have like a specific emotion. Um, so I've been listening to very light music, some piano uh, that doesn't come with a strong emotion, but more of give you a sense of a peaceful feeling so I can relax enough to write my stuff. After I'm done with the scene list, I'm going to start doing some research and I'll build an entire music list for the specific film. There will be different emotions, there will be ups and downs throughout uh, the entire music list and then I can pick to uh, specific music to listen to when I'm writing specific things. I hope that makes sense. I did that for my last film and then that the music I used to write the particular scene kind of fixed in my mind and end up become my music reference when we're doing um, the rough draft of the editing and then once we're done with the entire editing it's my temp music and I give the music to my composer and uh, that's the reference for my composer honestly I'm not sure if it's a good thing or not I'm still experimenting it. Uh, sometimes I wonder if this kind of practice will kind of limit your creativity a little bit. That kind of make you fix your mind in one thing. Um, I don't know. Let me know what do you think if it kind of a little bit limiting you uh, in a way. But right now I'm just listening to some very peaceful music and because I have been listening to it every single day so right now every day when I refresh YouTube homepage it will list it for me right there like this okay excuse me poopy so this playlist is what I'm listening to hi Sabrina that's Sabrina's channel be sure to check it out uh, she share a lot of writing and vlogging and filmmaking stuff as well I don't know why, how the algorithm works, but clearly they know that's something I'm listening to every morning. Uh, yeah, right now I think I'm all set for the writing. Uh, I know I look a little bit messy, but who cares? I'm home. All I want to do is just 
right anyway. Um, yeah. Okay, let's start writing. I haven't done what I want to finish today, so I'm going to keep going after 10 minutes of break and then see where I'm going. And um, I just want to get today's uh, section of writing done um, so I can move on to something different tomorrow. Um, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to go on my 10 minutes break. Okay, I'm done with my break and I got another cup of coffee. Um, why not? It's only now o'clock in the morning, so now. And I drew a little very ugly heart. I don't know if you can see it in my mind. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start doing uh, more writing. I really want to get what I'm planning on done, but I'll see. Um, I'm trying to um, get as much done in half hour as possible. And I'll see where am I. Where am I at? Is that how you say it? Where am I at? Yeah, I think so. Um, anyway, I'm gonna start writing now. I am just doing half hour for this time. Hi guys, I just finished my writing. Um, not technically finished, but I finished it that half hour and then I realized the thing I want to do probably going to take another couple hours in order to get it done. So basically what I'm doing is to copy and uh, kind of rewrite a little bit um, the most recent version of the plot into my uh, Evernote so I can organize and uh, make sure everything is structurally makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's what I was doing and I noticed, I realized that in order to finish that, I probably need another couple of hours at least. This is one of the things that I'm really not good at is to estimate how, how many time I need in order to get one thing done. And uh, I think a lot of this has to do with my anxiety of really want to get things done faster than it should be. Um, so I'm trying to focus on getting each day's hours of writing session done instead of trying to finish the writing as fast as I can. Anyway, after I finished writing, I checked my phone and I saw a message that just realized that one of my friends started a YouTube channel and then she just made a vlog video of morning routine and it's so good. Okay, it's Jocelyn Ng. <laughs> Good morning, friends. If you're like me, the new anxiety has been very active recently. All right, if you're interested, you can check out her channel. I'll put it in the description down below. And right now it's already 10 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead, change my outfit, and then get ready to do other works for the day. All right. Um, I just finished writing the outline for the YouTube video and now I'm going to um, make some tea and then record a video. It's going to be a coffee chat, but I'm going to do a tea because I already had two coffee.
Hi guys, I finished my recording session and now I'm going to fix myself some food because it's already 1 p.m. and I have a therapy in at 2 p.m. Yeah, let's do that. Hi guys, I just finished my therapy and uh, it was a very difficult session. Um, I sat for about 15 minutes to kind of think and then digest a little bit to regain my normal emotion back. I'm still processing it right now, but I need to go out now. I plan with my friend Tan to get our ear pierced um i used to have four piercing on my ear but um two of them are blocked so basically today i'm going to redo them marjorie wept on her walker michael was crying like a baby as he gave me a bear hug meredith sobbed and tickled her cheeks as i kissed her on the forehead how are you hey, how are you i'm gay <laughs> <laughs> what kind of camera is this it's Hello. a camera, mini camera, oh. um, gimbal. Um, <laughs> it not, reacts a little slow sometimes because uh, not, um, I don't know how to use it properly yet. Okay. okay. Hello. Hello. Show, 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 show you up here. Yeah. We didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait, let me uh, also get in on this because, uh, uh, the we, we have had holes that were still open, so we just bought jewelry and we'll get pierced another day. <laughs> but it still hurts. It still hurts, yeah. It's really hurts. It's blocked outside, so she has to like yeah, put poke it, it through with something, so it was hurt. Yeah. Hi, I just got back home and then this is what I did. I, I know I already showed you earlier, but the black one. It's a still a little hurt, uh, even though it just breaks through the surface skin. Right now I need to do a little bit organized. I have a box of stuff that I need to sort and then toss them away. Because tomorrow is the trash day, so I want to clear some of stuff. finished the dinner and uh, also finished watch the kindergarten teacher and it's such a great film um, it's very um, small scaled um, I think it's probably an indie film I never uh, doing any research on it um, but just looking at the film itself it feels like a, a really well made indie film with a very good screenplay it's actually opened my eyes uh, in a lot of ways about my own screenplay and also another screenplay that's um, started forming in my head recently yeah so it's on uh, Netflix right now so if you have Netflix you can check it out okay right now I'm going to start working on some exporting for my international film delivery um, it's basically uh, they want English subtitle burning in the film as well as Chinese subtitle burning in the film um, So I'm going to do the English ones first because it's very late and I'm very tired I want to go to read a little bit uh, with some hot beverage. So that's what I'm gonna do now I have some plan changes again. The hard drive that I'm using right here are almost full. So right now what I'm doing is to do a file transfer. So I can free some space in order to export into my WD hard drive. Each file is 
this big because they are coming as uh, 4k so total transfer rate is about 1.6 terabyte so since this is working on the transferring I'm probably going to do the exporting tomorrow and uh, now I'm just going to work on the closed caption they want me to basically deliver several other different format for the closed caption uh, just in case different company requesting different things I made myself a cup of hot chocolate I also made a chia pudding for tomorrow um, and I have to use whole milk today because I don't have any other plant-based milk usually I like it with coconut milk but I don't have any so I just finished my reading today I didn't read that much because I got sidetracked this is what happened so I grabbed this book very randomly from my bookshelf to read I've never read it before and it's been sitting on my bookshelf for a couple of years now when I started reading the book I just realized the theme of the book is exactly the same as the current screenplay that I'm working on at least from the first um, couple chapters so I'm working on a story about belonging I didn't know as in-depth as of now but back then I started working on the story because I was digging into all the characters and the two very different words and then comparing them and gradually I start understanding a lot of very universal struggles and then the story starts shifting to what is a true belonging and then I feel very coincidental that I'm just getting this book to read by accident and why I'm very intensively working on my screenplay and then it's talking about the same thing it feels like magic when this kind of coincidence happens that make you feel like you're on the right track I took this book because I want to get through it faster but now I have to slow down reading this book because it keeps giving me new ideas about the story so I just had to stop and then write ideas into my notebook ideas of a detail of a scene and what I want to express th through certain things things like that and uh, earlier I just get a reference from the book that I had to bring up my computer and start doing some research just feel everything becoming more and more together and those kind of moments always make me very excited and I think it's always one of the best part about the screenwriting i supposed to read and now I'm going back to talk about writing again anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed today has been a very long day and I have a day job tomorrow in the afternoon so I'll see you tomorrow